Hey guys, so um, I'm here to show you what I plan on doing for my December daily pages. Um, I'm going to create my own pocket pages um, just because I'm super cheap and I wanted to do the, this the cheapest way possible. Um, the album I'm using, if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I'm using a um, Target dollar spot binder um, that is just one of these mini album or mini binders, three rings and looks like that. Um, so that's what I plan on using and then these are the pages that you can get at Target or these ones, uh, the mini binder sheet protectors. Uh, they're five and a half by eight and a half and they come with 15 and they're about three bucks a piece. Um, it's very easy for you to just go to the store and get like the simple stories um, snap collection. They've got six by eight page protectors and they've got all different sizes. You can get the little squares or you can get um, like the four by four or whatever you want to get. They have tons of options that you can use. Um, they're just going to be a little bit shorter and then a little bit longer this way, um, which would be fine. Um, you can see that it these you know, you know you have room here when you close it though you would have a little bit sticking out on the edge um, which I guess if you minded then you might want not, not want to do that but I don't think a lot of people would mind um, and I believe that Mary plans on just buying the page protectors I however want to make my own so um, I'm going to show you kind of what I plan to do on that um, but first I'm going to let in my dog because he's barking outside Okay, so like I said, the page protectors themselves are um, five and a half by eight and a half, or they're supposed to hold a five and a half by eight and a half piece of paper. However, <laughs> I didn't like the way that the five and a half and eight and a half uh, piece of paper fit in there. I didn't think it was tight enough, and it was kind of, I don't know, wiggling around. So I preferred this size which is what I plan on cutting all my pages to. So um, five and five eighths by eight and five eighths. So it's just an eighth inch bigger than, you know, what the page protectors say is supposed to go in there. But I just think that it has a nice, a much nicer fit um, and it won't be kind of flopping around and I won't worry about the pages coming out. Um, so, so this is how big the page is that I'm gonna be using for my full page layouts. Um, and then, because they're not the six by eight, a regular um, journaling card is not gonna fit inside of here. So let me show you, here's just a regular um, Project Life journaling card, um, which if you were to do two next to each other, clearly it wouldn't fit because there would be some overlap there. So, that means I either have to cut down journaling cards or have to make my own, which I plan on making most of my own. So the size that I'm going to use is going to be two and three quarters by four and eight. So that's going to fit two side by side will fit with a little bit of a um, gap in between so that I can fuse my pages. So. I've got a couple completed page protectors here. I don't want to go too crazy with like how many different layouts I have. So I don't want to do like the, you know, have a bunch that are just two and two, four and four, two and one. You know, I don't want to get too crazy. So I'm probably just going to stick to about two or three different kinds. Um, so, so far I have made one that has the two smaller pockets and then a bigger pocket up here. And then I've made one that has four small pockets here. So I'm gonna show you how I did this process and put you on fast forward so you can see and not in real time because that would take forever. So here we go. Okay, so here I go. I'm starting to fuse my pages together. Um, to do this, you all you need is a fuse tool 
or you could use a sewing machine to sew your pages together. Um, you'll need a piece of chipboard and a blade to cut your pages. You also need a metal ruler. You can't use a plastic ruler because the fuse tool would melt that. However, if you're using um, a sewing machine, then you just need your ruler to guide your cut. Um, so here I am. I'm using those journaling cards as kind of a guide as to where I want the fuse the fuses to go um, and then I'm just placing that chipboard right where I'm going to cut across the page. So I'm using the chipboard so it doesn't cut all the way through the page protector. It'll just cut that first layer and then I'll be able to fuse the bottom so it'll hold a journaling card up top and then um, the bottom part will be cut open so you can slide journaling cards in. So I'm just going to take that piece of chipboard out. I'm going to put those journaling cards back in and I'm just doing that to serve as a guide. You could easily just measure. Um, I'm not much of a measurer though so this is the way that works easiest for me. And then go, I go ahead and fuse along that line. Um, I usually go over my fuses multiple times. Um, I find that it just works better for me to do it that way. And then I go back and kind of poke through um, to see if I've missed any spots or the fuse tool didn't press down hard enough. And then I just refuse those areas. Again, this is just what works best for me. Um, I recommend that if you get a fuse tool that you practice. Um, it took me a lot of time to be able to get kind of the feel down for it of how hard you should press on your fuse tool. Um, so the first one, the first pocket page I made was just going to, it's a larger pocket up top and then two smaller pockets at the bottom. The journaling cards that the larger pocket holds are five and five eighths and four and an eighth. And then the smaller pocket like I said earlier uh, in the video are two and three quarters and four and an eighth. So this uh, page protector I'm doing here, I'm doing four small pockets. So I'm starting out the same way that I did the last one. I just cut along the middle section there and then I'm putting my journaling cards in to serve as a guide. Um, I'll be then fusing the top section from the bottom section that'll leave the top section so a journaling card can go in and then the top section um, or the bottom section will be remained open so um, you can stick journaling cards in. So I go ahead and fuse along that line and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the page around and then fuse in between those journaling cards which will separate the bottom section and I'm just kind of again just fussing around and making sure that the, um, the placement of the journaling cards is right and using that as a guide as to where to fuse the page together. So um, once I got that figured out, then I went ahead and fused the bottom part, and then I just used that bottom line to serve as a guide to fuse the top together. So I just went straight up on that line and fuse that together so I had four page pockets there. And there's some pictures at the end here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, ask any questions if you have any. Thanks, bye.